Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Ahabatu fillah In our study of Tafsir Surah Al-Ma'un we mentioned after Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillah, uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Raika al-Ladhi yukadibu bid-deen Fadalika al-Ladhi yudhu'u al-Yateen That we mentioned that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Have you seen the one who denies the Day of Judgment? And we spoke about the Day of Judgment and some of the benefits that Bin Uthaymin mentioned <coughs> And then we mentioned the second characteristic of the one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is describing here, and may Allah protect us from having these characteristics, ameen, ya rabbil alameen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَذَلِكَ الَّذِي يُضُعُ yatim." So this one denies the bath, he denies the day of re resurrection, and then he also deny, uh, refuses to assist the yatim. You know, he rejects the orphans. And regarding this characteristics, characteristic, Sheikh Salih bin Fawzan, Hafidullah Ta'ala, he mentioned some very beneficial fawaid about this as well. He said, you see... إِلَىٰ عَيْتِينَ وَيَدْفَعْهُمْ بِالْعُنْفِ وَقَسْوَةِ وَهُمْ ضُعَافِ فَقَدُوا أَبَاهُمْ وَمَنْ يَحْنُوا وَيَنْفُقْ عَلَيْهِمْ فَلِذَلِكَ اسْتَحَقَّ الْإِتَامِ عَلَى الْمُسْلِمِينَ عِنَايَ بِهِمْ وَتَعْوِيدًا لِمَا فَقَدُوهُ مِنْ أَبَائِهِمْ فَلِذَلِكَ فَإِنَّ الْكَفَالَ يَتِيمُ فِيهَا فَضْلٌ عَظِيمٌ The Shaykh mentioned about the yatim or the orphan. He said in this ayat, it refers to the one that is harsh in, in evil towards the orphan. You know, mistreats the orphan. And treats them with violence, you know, is violent and, and, and aggressive with them. And very hard in their heart towards them. And that they are the weak ones. You know, the, the yatim, the orphan, is, is someone who's weak, who's, who's in need. Who they're in need of love, they're in need of affection, they're in need of someone, as the sheikh says, they, they lost their parents, they lost their fathers. And they need someone to spend upon them. You know, they lost the one who spent it upon, who spent upon them. And for this reason, that they are rightfully a responsibility of the Muslims, and that they should care for them. And this is in response to what they have lost, and uh, and what they have lost from their fathers. And this is why caring for the orphan has such a great reward. And then the Shaykh mentioned, he said, عن سهل بن سعد رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أنا وكاف أنا وكاف وكاف اليتيم في الجنة هكذا وإشارة بسبابة والوسطى وفرج بينهما شيء in the hadith of Sahal ibn Sa'ad so the Shaykh mentioned the hadith of, uh, of Sahal ibn Sa'ad عنه, where he said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said myself and the one who who takes care of the orphan are in paradise like this and then he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam pointed with his his uh, his his finger, his his pointing finger, and his 
uh, his thumb or or his 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 middle finger. He made a well bisababa wal wusta. And then he uh, you know made a, a gap between them. So the Prophet ﷺ showed us that the one who takes care of the orphan is like that is very close to him in paradise. Will be very close to him ﷺ in paradise. This is a, a great status that we should all strive to 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 gain. So if you have the means and the ability, strive your best to take care of an orphan if you can to support to help support an orphan or care for one in whatever means that you're able to do so. عن ابي هريره رضي الله تعالى عنه ان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم انه قال خير بيت في المسلمين بيت فيه يتيم يحسن اليه وشر بيت في المسلمين بيت فيه يتيم يساء يساء اليه ثم قال باصبعه اصبعه انا وكافل اليتيم في الجنه هكذا In the hadith of Abu Huraira, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu he reported the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the best house of the Muslims is the house which contains uh, orphans in it that are being treated righteously. And the worst house of the Muslims is the house in which there is an orphan in it which has been treated with wickedness. And then he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, with his finger, he, he put his fingers together and he said that the one who cares for the orphan and myself are in paradise like this, will be in paradise like this. So this is the leal, as the Sheikh mentions, uh, of the benefit of caring for the yatim, caring for the orphans, and treating them kindness. And then he goes back to the tafsir, he says, however, this group of people that are described in this ayat, that they belittle the, the orphan." and those who are weak amongst them. And they are they treat them wickedly in their statements. So he says, Bil Qawl wal Fa'l. He said in their statements and their actions. So this is a, a stern warning for us. May Allah bless us to practice this because this is very uh, severe warning letting us know that it's not just perhaps a person may spend on people, on orphans, but yet, treat them wicked with his his or her tongue. And this is a, a stern warning for us that even in the situation where people may not be orphans, but for, perhaps a person may have uh, stepchildren. And we know in certain communities that the stepmother, as they say, the wicked stepmother, that she can be very wicked to children that are not hers and be harsh and mean. The father goes to work and maybe she beats them. We've heard about many stories like this in certain communities. And likewise, the father, the stepfather can be wicked. And wicked not just in beating or abusing, but maybe wicked in speech, harshness. And so we have to strive our best to be far away from those wicked characteristics because Allah hates them. And Allah loves those people who are weak and in need and who are uh, righteous as well. And likewise, as the Prophet Sallallahu said, The Prophet Sallallahu said, Fear the supplication of the one who's oppressed. So if you're oppressing uh, orphans, or you're oppressing someone who's under your authority, who's weak, or someone weaker than you, then this is a great oppression, a great form of oppression, and something 
that could come back to you in this life as well as the hereafter. The Prophet said, It took the da'wah to Mithlum. Fear the supplication of the one who's oppressed. So, meaning that the oppressed person, their supplication is accepted. So, if you're oppressing anyone, then they can supplicate against you, and their supplication is accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just for the fact that you've oppressed them. So, be careful, those who are charged in authority. May Allah protect us from being amongst those people who will oppress the people. And in the next sitting, we'll go on to the next characteristics which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions. And anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaytan.